Hey guys, this is John from John Old Games, and we are back to try out the Outriders demo. Now, Outriders is an uh, upcoming third person cooperative role playing video game developed by People Can Fly and published by Square Enix. Um, so, this demo is supposed to have about two to three hours of gameplay, depending how fast you are. Um, there's four different classes. You kind of get a, a level creator here that you can choose male or female and do some basic options like your hair and scars and that sort of thing. So we're going to jump in. We're going to give her a whirl and this will probably be like a two to three part kind of demo walkthrough of, yeah, a gameplay walkthrough. So it should be pretty fun. Um, don't forget to smash that like button and we'll just jump in here. I think I'm going to go with a chick. I have played this once before with a buddy, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, and I was a male before. I'm going to try out the female because I was interested in trying out some of the, you know, editing and just kind of mixing it up rather than being the same person. My, I had like a certain look I used on the male character and I wanted to see the female because they really show off the female a lot on the trailers, which is really cool. This is kind of the main chick it looks like they use. Um, and that's really pale, eh? All right, I'll maybe be a pale chick. Let's see what eye color we can do. Uh, I might actually be green. Green's kind of cool. Um, hair, I don't know. I know they really have this haircut. They really, that's the one they use. I'm pretty sure they're really short, buzz, buzzed around the sides on the, on most of their videos for this. Uh, what else could we put here? And they really don't have a ton of long hair. It's always like these really butch looking haircuts. Ooh. Um. I don't actually mind that one with kind of the braided sides and your hair flip back like that. That's actually really cool looking. I'm going to go with that. And I actually think her best look is actually blonde. I think I'm going to go the kind of dirty blonde look. And we're going to take off the markings. I'm not really sold on the markings. Piercings, I'm okay with not having. And yeah, let's kind of leave it at that. What is, is this just makeup? Oh, it is makeup. Okay. Um, we could maybe throw... Oh, maybe... Is that makeup? Oh, I thought it was... That was like the scar. So maybe it was that mainly... I'm going to go really clean and basic. I don't want any scars or makeup on. And we're going to just jump in. Yeah, let's just go Amber. That's fine with me. I'm not really picky with the name. So Dominique's my other one. I tried a Technomancer the first playthrough um, with my buddy. And this one, we're going to try something else. So we're going to proceed the lobby here. Um, no, we're going to play the prologue. I'll show you guys the prologue. That's fine. Kind of the base kind of story intro to the series and yeah we're gonna start a new game i think you if i remember correctly you choose your class after you get done the prologue so you kind of go in you get used to the story and the characters you get used to like shooting your gun and going cover you know doing your cover and stuff like that all the kind of basics most demos have right so that's pretty much where we're going to start. We're going to do the prologue and then start off the first opening of the campaign, probably on this first video, guys. Should be pretty fun. I hope you guys enjoy this video series. It's definitely going to be a game I'm going to probably get day one. Uh, it's a weird three-player co-op, which is cool because, I mean, I got my brother and my best buddy that we always play together, so that's perfect. Um, but there's a lot of weird three-player co-ops coming out. Like, I know that new Rainbow Six Quarantine is supposed to be three player uh, that new aliens co-op third person shooter is three player so i wonder if we're going to see kind of a new uh three player rage go on here rather than the usual two to four is usually what we have on most co-op games but i definitely like uh like this game so far like i'm a big third person shooter fan um, and it's got some sci-fi in it, which is really cool. People Can Fly are mainly known for Bulletstorm. I guess they've done, is it Painkiller back in the day? They've helped on some Gears of War. So you definitely feel that Gears of War feeling throughout the game. Just of like the snap, uh, snap to cover and just the shooting and all that sort of thing. So 
thrusters. Command it, it's 20 seconds to atmosphere breach. Initiate burn. Rotate on break. Primary ignition set to 30 percent. Rotating. We are engine first. Altitude 20,000 feet and falling. Hold on. We are getting interference. Switch to high gain antenna. Command, confirm signal strength. You're looking great, Pod One. Go for landing. Engines off. Pod One has landed. Almost looks like home. That's what worries me. Well, boss, you're ready. Got my truck. So the cool thing for the demo, um, it is cross save and cross play. I'm pretty sure. I played the first time on my PS4 Pro. Multiple defense lines and an operating base established within the hour. Move! Goodman, a word. You know the stakes of this mission. Flores is already half dismantled. Our engine's on its way down to power a city of half a million. Now, if these outrider bozos hit pay dirt, you report to me first. Sir, I'm only here to answer a proper procedure this fall. We're not on Earth, Shearer. There is no proper procedure. Listen up, outriders. I know what you're all thinking. There's no going home, and no one has a clue what's waiting for us out there. But the ECA pencil heads can't green light this land until we find their missing probes. So let's do our job. So as I was saying, this is cross play and cross, um, cross save. I played it on my PS4 Pro on the first time. I'm playing this on the PS5 just so you guys know. I did notice it looks sharper, runs faster loads loads faster so you definitely got those improvements and i don't know about you but i'm loving the dual sense controller like it just fits my hand way better than uh the dual shock 4 on the ps4 um and i do know this is out for xbox one ps4 series x ps5 pc and i think it's coming to stadia as well and it's all out april 1st 2021 I wouldn't be here without you. I'd be buried in the ashes back home. <laughs> All right. Let's move out. Stay sharp. Watch our sixes. New beginning. New uh, quest arrival. So this really gives me some Mass Effect vibes just from like the vehicles. It's definitely more spacey sci-fi. Um, it's really easy to move around in this game. I can't even process breathing air that doesn't smell like a burnt carburetor. I didn't uh -huh. get in the air back on Earth. I was used to it. <laughs> Trust me, you'll get used to fresh air too. Truth is, none of us should even have gotten off Earth. Survivor's guilt. You think any one of us isn't feeling it? It's not just that. If the Caraval's engine hadn't exploded back on Earth and killed most of the real Outriders with it, there wouldn't be a bunch of mercenaries down here in their place. I hired you because you don't let anything get in your way. I'm going to try to not talk as much when they're trying to, you know, talk and do story. I'll try to talk as best I can in between for you guys, just so I'm not ruining the dialogue for you. But definitely really, uh, really loose can like a really loose and comfortable controls. Um, definitely really comfortable on my hand and it's not like it's a pain to move or run or anything. Outrider, set a beacon flag. Let HQ know the area secure. Oh, look at that little creature. Here, we'll put this flag down for him. We captured this area. This looks to be our home base. Bernarnia. Ah. 
All right, people. We got jobs to do. Cuthbert, Scarstead, set up a perimeter. I want fortifications going up within the hour. Jakob, you're field testing the munitions. Gutman, get your scanner up and running so we can find those damn probes. Outrider, a word. Yeah, I'm going to talk to this guy quick. Jack Tanner. Hey. No matter what happens out here, I need my best gun on this in case things go south. Can I depend on you? Just tell me what to do, Cap. My weapons haven't been fired in nearly a century. Why don't you head over to Jacob and get your gear checked, and then be prepared to move out as soon as those probes are located. Any questions? No word from Earth, I assume? It's really gone? She went dark 15 years into our journey. More or less as predicted. ACA's confirmed no communication since. Oh, shit. You know, I uh, grew up a slum dog, fighting for scraps. Lost everyone, really, long before the end. Doomsday just wasn't a thing I worried about. Hell, I wasn't going to live past 20 anyway. Somehow, <laughs> I was one of the ones who made it. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. As things go right, time's coming. You're gonna have to leave all that behind. This is a new beginning. You could have a family here. Build a cabin. Grow old and get fat. Yeah, that's <laughs> not me, Cap. Know my way around bullets, not kids. There's gonna be no need for someone like me here. Maybe the old you, Outrider. But you're one of the chosen few. You get to build the future. Don't waste it. Gonna head out and find Jacob. I like that they got dialogue options, which is pretty cool. I'll go find Jacob's shooting range. Good. We're on standby for those probes, so stay on alert. Yeah, definitely a little RPG when you actually got dialogue choices which you can mix up or click and check out more info or learn more about the characters and the lore and stuff like that. Okay, where's uh, Jakob? Okay, it looks like it's over there. Are they going to get out of my way? or? Yep. This looks like where I'm going to practice my gun shooting. What's on your mind, boss? I know that look you get. I'm ready for target practice. Okay, uh... That last day got really hairy. I wasn't sure if any of us were gonna make it. We cut it pretty close. You can't stop thinking about it either. I know. It's insane. It was 80 years ago. Yeah, it feels like days. My knuckles are still sore, my ears still ringing from all the gunfire. I mean, there were thousands of them, all climbing over each other, slaughtering everyone in their way, and tried to pull down the launch tower to bash in the doors of our shuttles. I've been in a lot of war zones, but that was fucking anarchy. Look, it was either us getting off the planet or them, but we just did what we had to do. We do what we have to do. We look out for each other. Hell, we better. Other than the Captain Cuthbert, you're the only person left alive I know. I'm the only person left alive worth knowing. <laughs> I'm glad you made it on board, you old bastard. Me too. Me too. Um, okay, what do we think about Enoch? What do you make of this place, Jakob? It's perfect. Beautiful. How long you want to bet before we bury it all under concrete and plastic? Oh, come on. You can't still be that cynical. Just look at this valley. I don't know, boss. Maybe we all just got too much riding on this. We already have one dead planet in the rear view. If we screw this one up too, it... Maybe we won't. Sure, maybe this is really it. Maybe we can finally stop sleeping with our guns under our pillows, stop worrying about food every goddamn day. Believe me, boss. 
I want this to work. You have no idea. Mad. Huh? People don't change. Still got your money on black, huh? The house always wins. All right, I'm ready for target practice. I'm just trying to get to know him a little bit. Test my gear. Uh, up for some target practice, boss. Let's get started. Yeah, let's get used to the gunplay a little bit here. All right, cover is X. Fancy stuff. Yeah, a new toy. You're the first one to test it out, boss. Yeah, it's pretty easy to shoot. Reload, square. Think you could take on a tank? Damn. Somehow, 80 years has improved your game. Now give the sidearm a try, eh? Gotta hold down on triangle. Did I ever mention how glad I am to be on your side? Ooh, that guy got past. Haven't lost your touch. Looks like you get three weapons at a time. Looks like it's gonna probably end up being two, uh, two kind of more heavy assault rifle submachine gun, and then you're always gonna have your handgun as kind of your third. All right, see if it's not showing off. He's like, I'm too good, too strong. Alright, gunplay is really fast and easy, really, and the cover is really like Gears of War, like you cover, you shoot, you cover, you shoot a lot of the time. Collectible pickup, we're going to talk to Shira here. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. I wish you could have seen this, Dad. Hey, you're Shira, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Can you believe this landscape? It's so beautiful. Now... If only we had an internet to post those two. It's from a scientific record. <laughs> Besides, we'll have the internet up and running in the first six months. The entire thing is backed up. I'm just pulling your leg, Shira. Any luck with the probe? The scan's still running. I don't know what else I can do. It's just... How can the probe signals have simply vanished? Yeah, they said it was some kind of interference or something? Not from space, maybe, but not from down here. Still, seems initial readings were right. We're breathing. Yes, but before the ECA can authorize half a million more people coming here, we need the probe's data to know we can support them. And if we can't? What's the ECA's plan B? Do you have any questions I got answers to? Uh, looks like the signal's back. Yeah, let's right. go with that. Is that supposed to blink that way? Oh, 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 oh. That's a probe. Tanner, I think we got a signal. It's close. Excellent work, Outrider. Now go locate the damn thing so we can land this beauty. Copy that. Hey, it's an historic moment. We should document it. For the scientific record, huh? Selfie. Okay, who am I talking to next? I think we're going. Oh, it's funny. Whenever I need to go a new area, they like rip a tree down or move a car or something. It's kind of cool. Nine o'clock, something big. All you to stay alert. Guard the perimeter. Hold your fire until we know what we're dealing with. Go check this out. Locate the probe. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous, eh? Look at them all. Are we sure all the wildlife around here are vegetarian? Arbivores? We call them arbivores? Whatever. They look pretty ugly, you ask me. No, they're, they're astonishing. 
Holy man, that was a lot of them. Uh, one of those cow things is sunning itself right on my path. Hey, maybe you can get close enough to get a DNA sample. Not exactly our priority. Nah, scared it off. But I've secured the objective. Fantastic. Got some c cap. Found the probe. Looks like it landed pretty hard, but the data seems intact. Copy that. Transmitting to HQ now. Good work, Outrider. Hold on. Tanner? I'm picking up a second signal, but something's weird about this one. Weird? The pitch is rising and falling? It's supposed to be a steady tone. Outrider Alpha to HQ. Hold off on calling in that green light. We got another probe out here to analyze. Negative, Alpha. Your job is done. Damn it. Maxwell, listen to me. We can't afford to make mistakes. Give us time. Any more time and we lose our orbital window. We have the data. I'm calling it in. You want to keep searching? Don't blame me if you find trouble. Over and out. <sighs> All right, now, Ryan. Right. Sprint's really fast. With a convoy. Let's go find that stray. Am I going back to base? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, so super fast sprinting around, that's for sure. It looks pretty gorgeous, I gotta admit. I'm playing on 5, and definitely the frame rate and loading and all that's better. I can see little visual cues, too, uh, a lot better. They look better on than the 4 version. I've already done a playthrough on the 4, and the 5 version definitely better looking. The probe signal is mostly noise, but I've tracked its source. There. Hope you all brought your galoshes. Ooh. Yakov. Mm. Same shit, different planet. Ochevishcha. Electronics are freezing up. Trucks are down. We continue on foot. Soldier, your primary focus is Shira. Understand? We keep moving. Eyes up. What is that? Choke on your own spit, dude. It's nothing. I'm good. Jesus. Shit. Get back to the ship. Alert the medics. What's going on? Stay back. God damn it. Man down. Tanner, got eyes on the probe. I got movement, heading in. Arrival. Locate the second probe. We've encountered a potential biological hazard. Requesting quarantine procedure at base. Damn it. Ooh, that's cool. I told you, Bozo, not to go mess up this operation. It's my name on the line when it's landing, and you have no authority over me. Maxwell. Shit. Unit 2, stay at your position with... Hey, boss, we lost you. I'm getting our straight probe. How's Scarstead? He looks like shit. Any idea what this black gunk is? Some kind of saprophyte or mycelium? But this collects samples. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, we're jumping in the battle. I knew it'd be a creature or something. Here we go. Okay. Holy goddamn, I thought I dodged him, but it didn't happen. Oh, he shredded. I got attacked by one of those cow things. Something drove it crazy. I had to put it down. Keep an eye out. Well, lots of cutscenes to snap into each other on this prologue so far. I'm pretty sure it's like a 20, 30 minute prologue, and then we'll be rolling into the normal kind of open world missions off the hub world, I'm pretty sure. Just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of the story and then we can get into some more gameplay after. There, I found it. Good work. Get the drive, so get the hell out. Wait, hold on. This thing's just in relay mode. Tanner. The signal isn't coming from the probe. It's coming from outside our search zone, somewhere else on the planet. That's impossible. There is nobody else. Secure the hard drive. We'll analyze that signal back at base. Copy. Ooh, that hurt. Something's frying it, Tanner. Give us the frequency. Uh-oh. Uh, carrier frequency is nine, seven, point. Uh, Tanner, do you copy? Tanner, I'm seeing some really strange shit down here. What the fuck? Holy crap. What the hell was that? What I'm getting out of dodge. We're just barely missing these. What kind of storm is this? Oh man, we had to get out of there. We were almost going to die. That was an no can do, everybody. Really cool storm, though. She's done. Help me. Holy. This is crazy. What happened? Look how it's rotating the vehicles and shit. Oh, this guy's slowly dying, the driver. Heavy casualties. Possible contamination. I need quarantine set up at base. Do you copy? Oh, he's dead. Maxwell, what the fuck is all this? What does it look like? Sergeant Major, sir, we have to follow quarantine procedure and hold the landing. 
Whatever the original reports about this planet, they were wrong. There's some kind of anomaly. If we land now, everyone will die. There's no holding the landing. It's too late for that. Oh. There's nowhere else to go. Oh. 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 Stop. They're contaminated. If we contain them, that's an order. You always were an asshole. Look around you. We got men and women in need of medical attention. Now get your asses in gear and do the right thing, or I'm gonna have to... No! Contain Oof. this. Now. Burn the fucking king bodies. That was kind of brutal. Swap between weapons. I'll take care of the wounded. Just hold them back. Yako, cover me. I'm going after Maxwell. I got you. And then you get better aiming. Right after you call off your goddamn goons. Sergeant Major, the entire colonization is threatened. We need to warn the Flores. What's the object? Oh, right here. Chest. Item pickup. Okay. Can pick up items that way. Cool. Open my inventory. What's in my inventory? Is this a better weapon? Oh, yeah. Is this a submachine gun? Oh, no. It's an assault rifle. Double gun standard. Well, this one is better than the one I have. Oh, I didn't want that. Yeah, we'll swap that one out. Alright, that's kind of cool. I'm really fat. I like the assault rifle in this. The shotgun's pretty powerful, too. Which I kind of dig. Holy... Clear. Set up a blockade. Burn everything down. Why? So he can tell the story in his way. Of the outriders fucked everything. He needs to die. Outrider, wait. Oh, I didn't know that. Didn't even have it loaded already. You need to get into two reasons. Wow. I'm surprised how many rounds that took. Ooh, that was like both right together. That was a pretty dope shot. Okay, I'm gonna go back to assault rifle. Don't be poking your head out. That's an easy die. Kill the traitors! Don't let them near. Oh, buddy, that was way too easy. Tempest. He has been terminated. Call it in. Postpone the fucking landing. It's too late. Can you can you help me with the wounded? We have to get them to Metla. Over over here. Bring it back into cryo until Medlab can save your fucking life. Don't be ridiculous. I'm done for. Done for. Uh, Pep talks aren't really my thing. Uh, uh, 
Oh, that was pretty intense. When is something truly over? Was it when your people left Earth behind? Was it when you watched the first spaceship crash and burn? Was it when you saw your fellow Outriders crumble at your feet? Was it watching yourself die? But Enoch isn't done with you yet, Outrider. Like I always say, it ain't over till it's over. They're not why we're here. I'm sorry. is coming. Let's see how fast you can run. The no man's land, like the others. Prologue kind of takes a long time. I didn't realize this. This was mainly like maybe the first hour. Might be a three video here, guys. Looks like we woke out of Cairo now. He's getting jumped. died I'm definitely double hearing some dialogue in the demo here hopefully they got that fixed for the main game I didn't actually hear that the first time I played through I swear damn place is nuts look at all the bodies and chains and 
people captured and big war going on here. Time to walk no man's land. Wow, that was a big opening. I did not notice it took about 40 minutes or so to do that whole first chunk. Hopefully that gives you guys a nice taste of the story, and I'm pretty sure the rest is after this cutscene is going to be choosing our class and uh, playing the first few missions, so. Probably going to end up being a three-part video series of the demo here. Are they just leaving me to die out here, or what? Oof. How did we get out of that? I don't even remember. Oh, they're like, yeah, you died, so let's choose a class now. <laughs> so on my other one, I did Technomancer. Um, my buddy tried Pyromancer. I was actually going to try to do uh, one of the close range ones. I'm actually thinking the Trickster I'm going to try here. Uh, bend the laws of space and time to appear out of nowhere, assassinate your enemy, so he's kind of like a rogue. Uh, each enemy killed in close range heals you, grants you a portion of shield. So close range, hit and run, space time, and the devastator, take point, defend your allies, ground, and foes alike will tremble as you pass. Uh, you recover health. Okay, I'm going to actually try the trickster for the demo here, guys. We're going to follow this path. Are you sure you want to be the trickster? You won't be able to choose? Yes. Now we got a class. That's kind of the opening kind of prologue of the game. Eyes of Outriders. Okay, in this demo, experience a story, which that kind of first whole chunk there, guys, is a, a decent amount of story. Uh, explore the Rift world. This is like the big open hub world. It looks like there's four side quests, and then you sort of follow the first little chunk of the main quest. I'm not sure how much more we'll get done this. This is more of the prologue going to the hub world. We may get one mission done. I'll see. Um, but the next two videos will mainly just be all missions and hub world stuff and side quests, so... Four different classes. I'm pretty sure the demo's got six different save slots. And like I said, it's cross save. So if you're on four, transfer it to five if you buy that. The game is cross by two for four to five and Xbox One the Series X. Um yeah, we'll just jump into her. Wow, this looks gorgeous. Health regeneration is a trickster. You'll recover health and gain a shield when you kill enemies in close quarters. This is most effective way you can restore your health during combat. All right. Ooh. Skills. Okay, here's my skill. What's this one? Oh. That must be a melee one up close. Okay. We're shooting first, all right. Oh, and I can change shoulders too, nice. Why didn't she hide? 
And there's blind fire too, which is nice. Okay, where are they? Holy man, there's like an army on the top of this ridge. Okay, so that big slice is my first skill, which you gotta run right up to him to do anything. Because I am a, a melee class here. Ooh. Looks like the, at least the loot's all like highlighted in blue, so it's easier to find on the battlefield. Here, I'm just gonna run around and try to see if there's another one. All right, I could get used to this. Okay, that's it for right here. I see it. The ammo, you never run out of ammo because they always like even after you use it and open it, it just restocks immediately, which is really nice. kind of wondering how much they would scale this when you're by yourself because I know you can play it up to three player co-op with buddies but it doesn't look like I'm getting AI teammates or anything so oh does that just freeze oh it freezes and blows them up that's kind of cool and there's a lot of dudes here Let's see and grab some ammo here. Where are they all up here? Oh, I blew right by one. Of course he's hiding. Okay, I like that melee too. That was pretty handy. It like freezes a midair, which is dope. Looks like each class has a different one. Alright, where are we going here? Is there someone behind me? I gotta look at my mini map more. There we go, we got him. Free stock. Ooh, cool. Oh, is this a chest or is this a restock here? Gotta keep my eyes open. They definitely, at least they glow blue, like I said, because otherwise I'd be lost and not be able to find them. Yeah, let's check around for some chests. Nothing down here. Oh, they turn the skeleton and blow up. That's really cool. Hey, can we get up top there? Is that a no can do? I don't think so right now, at least. That guy just died. Ooh, here's the tank, dudes. Ooh, I didn't know I picked up a rifle. Pretty powerful, though. Ooh, he's dead. I'm going to re-swap here. Oh, he's like frying me pretty good here. Holy man, there's almost too many people on me most of the time. We just got to finish him off here. There we go, got him. I was like, man, I don't know if I'm going to get him here. We got level 3. I think the demo said it's up to level 7. Which on my other character, I got like 6 and change. I mean, you can replay side quests once you have done them once, but... 
Oh, here's a chest I missed. Oh, I didn't pick it up. You gotta pick it up, okay. Dismiss. Oh, we got a new uh, new skill. We got Slow Trap, is that what it was called? L1 and R1 to activate. Okay, we'll try that out. Looks like you can have three on at a time. And I did look at the tree, and I think it goes up to eight different skills you learn for each of the four classes, which is pretty cool. This is like the end battlefield, I'm assuming, maybe? That scene? Did you steal that uniform? I didn't. It's mine. Yeah? If he's really an outrider, then you fight's on the wrong side. Haltered. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Grand Marshal, she'll explain. Come. Yeah, I think this is the hub world we're going to end off for the first part. And then after this, you kind of go from here and do missions and do side quests and... Do whatever you have to do, Lieutenant. Ooh, damn. Shira? Look at the time jump on her, eh? I'm sorry to disappoint you. You came from their side. You got any intel for this? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, I got a war to win, so either you help me or you get back into cryo. Hold on. I've just woken up to mud. And shit, I've been asleep for God knows how many years. 31 years. So for 31 years, I've been seeing people fight and die while you were getting comfy in cryo. So 31 years, so damn. Little welcome party. What happened to you? The anomaly. That's what happened. You mean that storm? We told them nothing. Anything more advanced than a grease engine that fried all our data. Wiped out. We couldn't grow crops or make medicine. So we ended up in the same place as when we left Earth. Just killing each other over the little we have left. Pretty much. Why didn't you go somewhere else? The Outriders could have... The Outriders are dead. What? And the anomaly keeps us in this fucking valley. We can't go anywhere else. You don't get it, do you? You think you're dreaming? This is real. Believe me, it's fucking real. So whether you like it or not, you're stuck here in the mud and shit like that was. You should have never woken up. What an miss out on all this. Grand Marshal, we were too late. The hounds have him. He's been taken underground. Well, get him back. Well, it may be our side, but that's not our turf, ma'am. I'm not losing people over Yakub. Yakub? He's still alive? Not for much longer, it seems. Then I'll go find him. Ma'am. Ma'am. Never mind. I've got it covered. Insurgents took everything I had left. All right. Here is the hub world. And world tiers. So you get better loot the harder you put it on. I think it goes up to what? I think there's like 15 different world tours or world tiers. Uh, and the harder you play, the more, you know, percentage or rarity drops you get which is pretty cool i guess we're on two right now um so that slightly gets higher so Jacob's in trouble and I need the more you play at least some things never change 
So accessing menus. So here's where you can equip your guns, equip your gear. Um, I think it auto equips for the most part what the newest one you picked up is that's better than the one you had before, which is kind of cool. It kind of saves you some of the time. Um, here, I'm just going to flick through my menu. This is kind of the, the map of the area. This is the first hub world. I think there's many, many hub worlds throughout the game. This is where you take the first like story quests and stuff. Here is the eight different um, skills that you'll end up getting. Um, tells each level 4, 6, 9, 13, 17, 22. Uh, so far, we got Temporal Blade. That's kind of that melee close range, paralyze, slice enemies. Um, create a space-time anomaly spear that inflicts slow onto enemies and projectiles for 10 seconds. I didn't really get to try that out before, so we'll try that out probably in the next video. Um, this is your giant-ass skill tree. Like, tons of options. I played through the demo on another character, and I only think I put one or two of these on tops, and that's like... I'm pretty sure it's close to three hours, so this is probably going to be three one-hour videos I'll probably end up doing for this through the walkthrough. Okay, this is our new Accolade level. Uh, we can claim some rewards here. What does that mean? Three rewards claimed. Uh, and then these are like little character. You can get a little um, write-up on each character. Find out some lore, different enemies and stuff. That's kind of cool. different creatures, you know, history and lore, so lots of that to read up on. Misc is what all notes and diaries and stuff you can pick up. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to roam around here for a minute or two, maybe talk to a person, and then we'll probably leave it there for the first video, guys. Up and tracking down Yaku. Now who the hell are these assholes? They're thugs, drug runners, and child flavors. They call themselves the hounds. And believe me, no one's going to miss them if you put a few dozen in body bags. Why the hell haven't you done something about them already? Honestly? Because their black market keeps our soldiers happy. And at least they're not eating their own fucking kids like surgeons were fighting out there. Yeah, I met a few of them. Not so friendly. So play together, co-op with friends. So the prologue you gotta do that we just did in single player, and then that's why I was saying, I was like, well you could do this in three player, um, but you only can do the main first part. The prologue single player then in the demo this next probably two or so hours you can play with your buddies which is cool up to three players you can match make quest timeline very easy to find out this is kind of the quest timeline thing or the transporter um, you can also use this to travel to different parts on the map that you've went for different missions and after you've played through the main maps some of them will have side missions within the map, so we'll check out those probably in the next video or two. Um, and I'm just kind of going to show you guys a little bit of the hub world around here. There are little collectibles and stuff. Oh, you can change your appearance too, so if you didn't like what you liked before, you can tweak it a bit right here. I know it's not a ton of different choices, but there's about like 10 on each different thing for mark, makeup, hairstyle, face, stuff like that. Um, I think there's one over here. There's a few of them. Oh, there was one here. I wonder if the collectibles, since I've played through on another character, you just get it for one and they're done? Because there was a collectible there last time. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty cool little hub world, and I'm excited to see what else this game's going to have, especially for different hub worlds, different missions. Uh, it's very fun Gears of war -y like gameplay. Um, and the characters seem pretty cool, and the visuals are pretty solid. It's very silky smooth. I swear that the PS5 one in Series X runs in 60 frames a second. Uh, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure I heard that, and you're running close to 4K or 4K. Um, I'm playing on the PS5 if you guys want to know for this demo. Uh, and yeah, pretty cool little area. I will see you guys in the next video, part two of this. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look at Outriders. If you guys enjoyed my channel or my videos. I'd appreciate the thumbs up and the subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.